Welcome to the Interaction Client Did You Know video series by CPI. Hi, this is Ruth Lockery. In this edition of our Interaction Client Did You Know series, we're going to talk about some advanced call handling features, transferring and conferencing. I call them advanced. They're not really. You're going to see in just a moment how easy they are to use. There are two types of transfers. The first is a blind transfer, where you immediately send the call to someone else. The second type of transfer is a consult transfer. This type of transfer allows you to speak to the recipient of a call before you send it through to them. For example, you may perform a consult transfer and say, Mr. Jones, I have Mrs. Smith on the line and she's calling to speak with you about her order. Would you like to take the call? That consult prepares the person to accept the call, knowing what the conversation is going to be about before it comes through. So let's begin with how to do a blind transfer. As with everything in your interaction client, there are multiple ways to get something done. I'm going to highlight just a couple. With a call presented in your My Interactions tab, grab that call with your left mouse button clicked and drag the call to a person's name in the company directory. When you release the left button, the call transfers. Another way to do a blind transfer is with the interaction highlighted in your My Interactions tab, go down to your company directory, highlight the person's name, and click the transfer button in the button bar at the bottom of the company directory. Again, the transfer is completed. Now we're going to move on to consult transfers, and this time I'm going to start at the bottom of the client. Let's do a consult transfer using the button in the button bar underneath your company directory. You're talking on a call so the interaction appears in your My Interactions tab, and you need to do a transfer. Highlight the person's name in the company directory that you want to transfer to and click the consult button. Look at this neat dialog box. Now you can connect with the person you're transferring to and toggle back and forth between them and the caller before you actually press transfer now and complete the transfer. Another way to do a consult transfer is to use your right button for a drag and drop. Let's look at how that works. Select the interaction in your My Interactions tab and then right click, drag the call down to the entry in the company directory, and when you release your right button, a context menu pops up. From here, you can select your consult transfer and complete the call through. Another way to do a consult transfer is to use the transfer button on your button bar. Let's look at how that works. With an interaction selected in your My Interactions tab, click the Transfer button. A new dialog appears. Start typing the person's name or extension in the Transfer To field. You choose where the call is going by clicking on the list or pressing Enter when you've narrowed the list to the intended recipient. Now that you've identified where the transfer should go, notice that the dialog box gives you more information, including the status of the person. Why is this helpful? Let's say you realize the person you want to transfer to is at lunch. You can inform the caller and offer to send them to the recipient's voicemail. See the voicemail button? If the person is available, clicking transfer from here in the dialog completes a blind transfer and clicking Consult takes you into the Consult Transfer dialog. Now you can announce your caller and complete your transfer. Now that we've finished with transfers, let's take a moment to create a conference call. You're on the phone with someone and you realize you need to reach out and add a third person to the call. How to conference them in? Very easy. If it's a person inside your company, go down to your company directory and click the person's extension to call out to them. Notice that the call you were on has now been placed on hold. You get the third person on the phone, and as you can announce to them that you want to conference them in, you left-click on their call, drag it on top of the first call, and release. And now the three of you are conferenced together. If you wanted to conference in a person from outside your organization, the same steps are involved, except that you type the first person's number in the number field create the call, drag the two together, and you have a conference. There you have it. That's it for transfer and conferencing. See, not so advanced after all. There are a few more advanced features we do want to talk to you about, and I hope you'll come to hear those soon. Recording, parking, 
and camping. Hmm, no tent involved. Thank you for watching. You can find more information and comment on this video at blog.comprod.com.